Hey guys, Zox from 7th Hour Films back again with One Punch Man. Last time on One Punch Man, we had The Strongest Man, where we were uh, acquainted with our protagonist, who uh, seems to be a hero for fun, uh, who can beat enemies with a single punch, because that's how damn strong he is. We got a little bit of backstory on him, how one day he randomly saved a child from a giant half-crab, half-disturbing underwear man, and uh, then he trained for three years to be the strongest, and he was. But he found that uh, being the strongest person is kind of boring. And uh, then he fought off some villains, which again was only with one punch. And that was that. Yeah. This is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. This is also where I say that if you want to watch my reaction to this episode of One Punch Man, what you gotta do is head down in the description or to the pinned comment, click on the link, and that will take you over to my reaction. Uh, the reaction itself, uh, as you probably have guessed already, is not in this video uh, because I'm not taking chances with anime anymore. Um, and yeah, so go to the link. That's where you can watch the reaction like any other reaction. And when you're done with that, I do encourage you to pop right back over here to this video for the discussion. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this episode of One Punch Man. Here we go. Alrighty, another fun episode, I gotta say. Another fun episode. Um, as I'm going through these, though, it's... I, I am starting to realize that my normal, like, analytical discussions may not be quite suited for uh, this kind of show, you know? Like, like, there are some shows like JoJo where it's like, it's so weird that sometimes I have to, like, stop thinking and just be like, yep, that, that just what, that's just what happened. There it is. It's like, if you try to, like, really analyze it, it sort of starts to fall apart. It doesn't make any sense. I feel like we're kind of... I feel like we're kind of there with this show. It's like, I can analyze it, and I can talk about it, and talk about how fun this is, but if I really try to analyze it, that might be a bit of a problem. So these are going to be very interesting discussions, I feel like. But... We can go ahead and hop into the notes. Uh, the first thing I wrote down is the mosquitoes. Um, first off, I, I will say I do like the different, like, villain designs, you know? Like, you know, because we, uh, we had Vaccine Man uh, and uh, the, the basically Titan last episode. Oh, there was a third. I guess it was just the Subterraneans after that which were really cool in his dream and then not cool uh, in reality. Um, but yeah, like I like all the different designs. And so this time around, we have uh, anime kawaii mosquito girl, uh, which was kind of funny. Um, and, and I like this idea. It's like, okay, so she sends out all these mosquito mosquitoes to sap away blood from people and literally kill them, take all their blood, and then she takes in all the blood and then that makes her stronger. Okay, that's a really cool design, you know? Um, so I did like that. Um, looks like we have a new, uh, I guess, sort of, I suppose, side protagonist, uh, Genos. Uh, also, we did get uh, that it's pronounced Saitama. 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 I'll figure it out uh, precisely how to say it. Uh, whereas I've always, because I've only uh, read his name like uh i've never actually uh i've never actually heard his name i thought you pronounced it saitama but it seems to be more uh saitama 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 Some, something like that it's the same thing I, again sort of going back to jojo uh i i thought uh the protagonist of uh part three stardust crusaders his name is jotaro I thought it was pronounced Jotaro, but I seem to put, like, if I read a Japanese name first, I seem to, like, not have the right emphasis when I do it. So, uh, so instead of Jotaro, it's Jotaro, and instead of Saitama, it's Saitama. 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 Saitama? Saitama. Yeah, it's, it's like, I, I basically, 
I, I, I never get the emphasis right. The emphasis is on the first syllable of their names, basically. So, uh, but yeah, we also got, uh, like I said, we got our new sort of, I guess, secondary protagonist, Genos. Uh, they don't pronounce it Genos, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, who is this, like, cyborg guy, uh, which is pretty interesting. Um, I, I do like how kind of serious he is. Um, cause that will definitely make a good, like, um, I suppose foil or, you know, that would, that would really play off, uh, well against, uh, Saitama, who's, you know, obviously a very ridiculous character. Um, so, so he's pretty cool. Uh, okay, I wrote down the destruction. You know, we kind of mentioned this a bit last episode, but the destruction on this show is ridiculous, you know? Because everything is sort of over the top in this show. I've easily come to find out. Um, everything is so over the top in this show that um, that all the destruction has to be over the top. I do like, though, that uh, Geno says, like, oh, well, when I came here, I scanned and saw that there was no one in, like, a five-mile radius... So, I knew that no one would be hurt by this giant blast I did. You know, so, that was pretty cool. The only one there, really, other than the mosquito and him, was uh, Saitama. So, yeah. But that's... So, I, I like that they added that in there. Because, yeah, it, it kind of seems... I mean, honestly, it kind of seems like no one really cares about the destruction that happens in this world. And, you know, I can... I can assume that that's more for, you know, the joke of it, that it's like, oh, here's all this destruction. It's like, geez, this place is kind of shitty, you know? There's, the city's being destroyed all the goddamn time, you know? But, so I can see that that can sort of be part of the joke. But yeah, they don't really address it. They also don't address, really, how many people uh, Saitama has killed so far, you know? Like, he has killed a good number of people, actually. And granted, I guess, you know, at this point, they're all really villains, you know. The only time, you know, is, like, when he uh, when he punched uh, the Titan last episode and it fell. And, you know, he you know he was like, oh, shit, it just fell on a city. My bad. You know, but he, he really only kills villains. But still, it's like, there is just no regard for who he kills, you know. Whereas, at the very least, Genos, he does at least care about uh, civilians that could potentially be in the way so that was pretty interesting um so yeah i i, I do like it again uh, again you know uh, there's me going back to my analytical mindset when it comes to these videos you know because that because that's what i love doing is i love in these reaction videos when i can really just get in and analyze it that's why i take you know notes on episodes because i want to analyze everything but this is not a show where i should be really really trying to analyze things there are some things i just need to take and just let that be that and just be like you know what this is because some of this i can tell is for the comedy of it and that's great and yes you can analyze some comedy but there's some things where it's like you know oh uh Saitama, he just you know completely killed uh the beast king and then you know, it's like, oh, he, as the little mole was, you know, uh, burrowing away, he, you know, uh, managed to find him. Like, you don't have to analyze that. It's just fucking funny, you know? So. <sighs> All right. Um, I love that they brought back uh, the backstory joke from uh, last episode. They did a lot. They, you know, upped it in uh, this episode as well that, you know, Genos goes over his entire backstory. And I love, like, they're... Because uh, they're not cutting to, uh, like, a flashback uh, of his backstory. They're just cutting to different, like, you know, establishing shots, basically. They're cutting to different shots around, uh, around the town. And as his backstory keeps going, it's so long. Even... When he starts to speed up, uh, he starts talking faster. It's still going on forever. So I love that they actually go in and start recycling those shots again. That is really, really funny, you know? So I love that. And and I love it too because everyone has the most complicated backstory except Saitama. Saitama is just like, I don't know, I'm strong. I want to be a hero for fun. And that's that. And his personality also really reflects that, you know? So. 
Uh, we had the House of Evolution, who sent, you know, those guys. That was pretty interesting. I would assume maybe they're going to be, uh, like, our our villains, uh, maybe of the season. Maybe just for a little while. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I would assume that we're going to get something with uh, the cyborg from uh, Genesis' backstory. But we'll have to see. Um... Oh, okay. Sorry. I this this happens every so often. I look at a note and I don't know what the hell I wrote down. I wrote down train and I was thinking of a train and I was like there was no train in this episode. I was like, "Oh, training." Because Genos wants uh Saitama to train him. That was also pretty interesting. I mean, yeah, honestly, I would kind of want to like even though he says like, "Oh, yeah, this is going to be, you know, so difficult and stuff like that." It's like I would kind of want to go do this cuz it's like in 3 years Saitama became the most powerful man, you know? Like, yeah, I would kind of want to go that it's like, okay, just a couple years and I can be as powerful as you? Hell yeah, I want to do that. Even if it is long and grueling, it's only a couple years. You know that it will finish in a few years and then you'll just be that powerful. Like, there would be a part of me that would kind of be tempted to do that, you know? So, so yeah, so... Um, although it seems like Saitama doesn't really, I mean, he, he'll train, uh, Genos, but he's not really that enthusiastic about it, you know? So, uh, and then we had the fight with, uh, uh, the crew from the House of Evolution, which was interesting. Um, you know, whenever Genos fights, it, it does sort of transition back into normal anime where it's like, you know, like, oh, the villains, they're so overdramatic and he is so overdramatic. He's like a typical, like, you know anime protagonist honestly like you know he's all dramatic about this stuff too and they have this big fight meanwhile it cuts to Saitama he's just goofy as shit you know he's like he's just in the ground and he's like oh this is nice I like this I'm getting tired you know, sleepies and you know when they start when the villains start being dramatic to him he just gets up and then boom that's it and that's and that's what I love just you know how it, it's interesting for such an over-the-top world he's still weird in this world you know I really like that and I also like because you know because this is another trope with anime and stuff like that you know everyone has you know their big move always has a name you know I and I really like that you know Goku with his Kamehameha uh Deku has like you know the Detroit smash and everything like that and even in Jojo when they have like you know uh sunlight yellow overdrive and stuff like that so it's such a trope of anime and they also have it here but I like how <laughs> I like how for Saitama when he goes in and he they still sort of I think they drew him like um let me see if I can find it real quick like, the way they drew him as he was getting ready to do his punch, I think, was uh, pretty detailed, too. Consecutive. Yeah, it, it, it's a bit more detailed, too, but I, I like that he just says... Normal punches. It's like when he... You know, everyone else is like, you know, Sunlight Yellow Overdrive or Detroit Smash! And he's just like... Consecutive normal punches. Bang, 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 bang. And then they explode, you know? It's just so... It just adds to how strange he is. Even in this world that they've established, he is still so weird. And I really do love that. Um, But yeah, that's pretty much all I wrote down. Again, another great episode. Really, really funny. I'm enjoying how hilarious these are, honestly. Um, and yeah... I am very excited to see where we're going next time, I guess, to the House of Evolution. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, because, yeah, I mean, after last episode, we really didn't have... Uh, we did have the shot after the credits of uh, Genos. And, okay, so now I know that he was... I guess he was tracking uh, Mosquito Lady at the end of last episode. But that was sort of it. We really didn't have any, like, oh, this is what's going to be happening next episode. Now we have that. So I'm very interested to see... Again, like, where we're going with that. Because, you know, even if there's, like, this huge, like, villain thing, we kind of know it's not going to be that big of a threat. So I'm curious, like, what does a story arc look like on this show? I'll be very curious to see. Oh, God. Excuse me. Um, but, yeah. 
that is pretty much it with all that being said i'm alex from seventh hour films and i will see you guys next time take care all right guys thanks for watching this video if you want to watch more of my one punch man reactions you can click on the playlist you can subscribe if you haven't done that already and be sure you hit that notification bell you can support me on patreon and follow me on social media links below in the description see you guys later